everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the brick stitch. That is the stitch that you see here and it is a fairly simple pattern to catch onto uh, which makes this stitch a great stitch for things like blankets uh, and garments and that kind of thing. Uh, it is not a yarn eater so it does not use a whole lot of yarn and it works up fairly quickly. It is comprised of single crochet, chain stitches, and double crochet stitches. So it also is a great stitch if you are relatively new to crochet or looking for an easy, simple pattern to work with. So this is the Brick Stitch and thank you so much for joining me today. While you're here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and tutorials. So for this stitch today, we are going to start by making a foundation chain. And I am, uh, as far as yarn and hook are concerned, I'm using a six millimeter crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone uh, yarn by Yarnspirations, which is classified as a bulky weight, but I feel like it's a little bit more on the thin side of a bulky weight yarn. So I've paired it with a six millimeter hook. To start our brick stitch today, we're going to start by making a slip knot and our foundation chain. Our foundation chain is uh, made using a multiple of four stitches plus one and then plus one more for the foundation chain. So for today, I'm going to be crocheting a total of 22 stitches. There's 10, 20, so that's my multiple uh, of four, plus one more, and then one more for, for my foundation chain. For row one, we are going to start by working one single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So count in one, and two. In that second chain from your hook, work one single crochet stitch. Next, you're going to chain three stitches. You're going to skip the next three on your foundation chain, so one, two, three, and in that next chain, in that fourth one, you're going to work another single crochet stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, so chain three, skip three, and single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, skip three, and single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to continue that all the way across where you will work your final single crochet stitch into that final chain on your foundation chain. When you come to the end, you are going to chain three and turn your work. This chain three at the beginning will count as a double crochet stitch. For row two, you are going to skip that first stitch and in your chain three space, work three double crochet stitches. two and three. Next you are going to skip the next single crochet stitch and work another three double crochet stitches into that next chain three space. And you are going to continue that all the way across. So in every chain three space work three double crochet stitches. When you come to your final single crochet stitch there on, uh, on your piece of work, you're going to double crochet into that 
final single crochet stitch like so and that brings you to the end of your row two for row three you're going to chain one and turn your work you're going to start by placing a single crochet into that first stitch next chain three skip the next three double crochet stitches and in between your the last double crochet in that set of three and the first one in the next set of three you're going to work your single crochet stitch so skip the next three and then in between that last one and the next insert your hook and work a single crochet then chain three and repeat skip three in between the last one in that set and the first one in the next you'll work one single crochet stitch chain three continue that all the way across your work working your final single crochet stitch into the top of your ch uh, turning chain three just like so. You're then going to chain three and turn your work. Now for the rest of this pattern you are you are simply going to repeat uh, rows two and three so that row two was your three double crochet stitches in each chain three space all the way across and then you'll remember you turned your work and then you did the single crochet followed by a chain three and single crochet in between the two stitches. So simply repeat those two rows for the length of, uh, of your project or however long you would like this brick stitch pattern to continue for. And that's all there is to this stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye!